turn it around now hold it turn it around open it with your middle finger press through it it's weird Hey there, everybody! Person watching YouTube. If you're new here, hi. My name is Ajay. I'm a doctor from Bangalore, India. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. I love you to the stars and back. Never have I got so many requests for one specific video. So many of you asking me to react to starting troubles. It has Dr. Jagdish Chaturvedi in it, who is a real doctor and a comedian as well. So I'm expecting this to be medically accurate and well made. So let's see. But before that, I have to mention that I have a small announcement to make. but let's talk about that at the end of the video all right starting troubles here we go sir new joinee yes sir where is dada joka being late on your first day is joker not good is it wait Is that a half sleeve? Your colleague is late. White coat. Why are they wearing half sleeve white coats? They're residents. They should be wearing a full sleeve white coat. If you wear a half sleeve white coat, that basically means you're a medical student. Or probably because they're ENT surgeons, they don't care about what sort of coats they are wearing because it doesn't really matter to them what coat they are wearing. They are going to be in scrubs in the OT anyway, sir. Rule number one: Always be punctual in the medical profession. Do you understand? Now wear your dresses quickly and come inside. Today we are going to do a neck dissection. Okay? Be quick. Sister, give me a long suction and I So basically neck dissection means that I think they are uh, you know uh, operating on someone with some sort of a cancer or some sort of growth in it. So basically they explore the neck area and whatever is abnormal they take it out. So that's what neck dissection generally means. All right ladies Are you ready for your first ENT surgery? Hmm? And who is going to assist me? Him sir, him, him sir. Him sir. Him, he, him, 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 him. No escapism. You will assist. Come on, quick. No, 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 no. Not this way. Hold your nadas. Come on, you are going to be surgeons. Tie surgical knot. Surgical Ooh. knot. Now don't be scared like I'm doing a surgical strike on you. How will you assist me if you don't know how to tie a surgical knot? So basically there are different kinds of knots when you get into surgery you have to learn all of them because we'll be suturing and tying a lot of other things. So knot tying is a very important part of learning how to be a good surgeon. So once you start, you know, learning surgery, you get to know there's, there's so many kinds of knots like the ones that I remember like surgeon's knot, granny's knot, there are many different types that i don't remember so yeah he's asking them to do the surgeon's knot and i don't think they know let's see what happens focus i am going to show you once take a suture oh, yeah then use your middle and ring finger and okay, through that pull it out Easy Now, to do it here, but when I'm actually dish. doing it, it's difficult. <laughs> pull it, turn it around. Okay, pull it, turn it around. Now, hold it, turn it around. Open it with your middle finger. Sir, no, it. can I tie for you? No, no, no. We don't have time. We have to go to surgery. I'll teach you there. Come on, come on. Suck here, sister. <laughs> Here, more deeper, more deeper. Put it full into it. Shut up. So basically, the nurse is doing the suction. So basically, when we are operating, there will be a lo lot of blood or fluids in the operative field because there will be slight ble bleeding and all that, right? So we use the suction machine to you know to suck it all out so that we can be you know very clear for the surgeon to see. So that's what the nurse is doing there. You please leave it, Jagdish. So, so. Now you suck. <laughs> Hold here. Hold this. Suck more. Deeper. S sister. Sister, can you give me another suction, please, sister? Doba. 
सिस्टर देखा हूं चूंदा ना दैट्स एन एनेस्थेटिस्ट आई गेस आई एम सीन एन एनेस्थेटिस्ट डॉक्टर राम यस ओके कौन छे आडा फोर एंड आई विल देखिनो दे बात करी शके से दिस हैज नेवर हैपेंड टू मी थैंक गॉड डॉक्टर राम या प्लीज सो बेसिकली द रूल दैट आई हैव इज कॉल एवरीवन अ डॉक्टर इफ देयर अ नर्स दे विल टेल यू दैट देयर अ नर्स सो इफ दे आर अ फीमेल डॉक्टर I don't want anyone to get offended, right? Female doctors would be there, anesthetists would be there, even there'd be other uh, surgeons who are uh, female doctors. And if you call them nurse, and they'll be offended. And if you are, if they are your senior, you'll get into a lot of trouble. You, 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 you Why you think only man can be doctors? No, 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 no. It's not like that at all, ma'am. Woman can also be a man. I mean, woman can also be a can be a doctor. छोड़िए ना मैं आपके डर से तो इसकी पैंट ही गिर गई. Shut up, everybody. Concert. So the nurse won't say it like that. Obviously, they'll be respectful to doctors. But again, if you don't put the surgical knot properly, this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> Good ER. <laughs> Bye. So PR basically short for per rectal examination. So basically, when we have to examine someone's back passage, that's called a per rectal examination, and that's why Manja is still laughing at it. At post of notes, NPO till 10 p.m. So NPO basically means nil per oral. So basically, you don't take anything through the mouth, not even water, not even. food because of the effect of anesthesia the muscles will be relaxed the consciousness will be lowered and if you eat something or drink something during that time you can regurgitate and that can go to lungs and that can cause pneumonia and a lot of other things so we don't want that to happen continue pain killers and antibiotics remove neck drain tomorrow morning okay yes sir so neck drain basically we'll have a tube connected to a drain which basically if there's any blood collection or fluid collection in the neck or wherever the surgery was done that will be pulled out by the drain and so basically there won't be any blood stuck there so tissues can heal faster things like that you follow up with pathology for given biopsy sample sure sir that is the intern so basically biopsy sample is that when we are uh, you know operating on something like in this neck dissection it could be like something cancerous or some lymph node swelling or something so they take a sample of it like the whole thing whatever you remove you send it to pathology so the pathologist will study it and see if it's you know something normal or something abnormal and give you the results so we can plan what to do next based on that so that's what we do after every surgery how can they say sample is insufficient that way every time mazak bana kar rakh diya hai i want to speak to the pathologist right now so basically like what i was saying about the biopsy sample sometimes when we send the sample it might not be enough for them to study sometimes if the pathologist is bad they'll just keep saying that the sample is not enough something like that i'm not blaming the pathologist a lot of the times surgeons also mess up they don't send good enough samples so yeah i think she is really you know pissed about that who among you assisted on this case uh, ma'am me tell me what was done uh, ma'am um, the an incision was made on the neck and uh, we dissected the planes and we removed about seven lymph nodes from the right side and we sent it for uh, biopsy is this how you describe a case you assisted huh i'm, I'm sorry ma'am it's my uh, first day today so uh, first day don't say that so it's okay for you not to know anything about the patient you are assisting incision was made node was this is something that i hate about uh, seniors here they won't teach you they expect you to know everything how are you supposed to know everything on the first day of you know med school or the first day of uh, residency they have to teach you this is how the surgery was done this is what we are doing write this down the hod might ask or the senior consultant might ask no nope. they be like i did a surgery now describe what you saw like we're not magicians we, we can't you know come up with some details that we don't even know about what was done so it's something bad and i hope it changes in the indian medical education system like in the post graduate training first teach them what is happening teach them how to present a case properly and all that and then if they don't do then shout at them but this is how it happens usually so that's bad removed from right side is this the way to answer what? like what i think is 
if someone hasn't taught you the right way to answer and if you answer wrong they don't have any right to you know shout at you because that's their job as the senior they're paid by the government or from the medical college to teach you to train you doesn't make sense right what kind of neck dissection was it radical neck dissection modified radical neck dissection selective neck dissection lymph nodes were removed from where which level was it a supra homo hyoid type of selective neck dissection posterior lateral anterior compartment type was the spinal accessory nerve preserved in this case or not huh you know you don't know what was the staging of the case tnm so basically staging means and this is pointing towards cancer now this is almost like very sure that it's cancer unfortunately for the patient uh, mr kumar uh, he's young uh, so i think he'll make it so basically staging means you would have heard people saying it's stage 2 cancer stage 4 cancer so basically how bad or how progressed it is and then tnm classification is basically tumor nodes and metastasis basically tumor basically means how big the tumor is like what kind of a tumor it might be things like that so we grade it according to that second thing is nodes as it gone to any lymph nodes so basically tumors spread to lymph nodes first and then to the rest of the body that's usually most of it how it happens and metastasis basically means has it gone to other uh, systems in the body like tumors can go to the lungs tumors can go to the kidneys livers brain backbone a lot of places so some of the cancers go to some parts of the body other cancers go to other parts of the body it's all too much in detail i'm blabbering but that's what it all means and classification you don't know that also mazak samajh ke rakha samne don't play games with me zindagi narak bana dungi main <laughs> look at that mr kumar listen you will not touch any patient without knowing everything about the case do you understand everything uh, yes ma'am everything how are you going to know everything if no one teaches you everything this is how it actually happens i'm not kidding all right that was good this seemed very you know things like that really happened uh, oh, it's a lot of fun first day of you know residency and all his experiences yeah it was funny wasn't it right so to the announcement i'll be conducting special sessions on an academy starting this saturday that is the 8th of may now two important things to note first is that all of my sessions will be free to watch for everyone and second i will not be teaching any course subjects even though i can teach biology for uh, neat ug i'm not a professional teacher and neat is a very serious life changing exam and only experienced teachers who have experience teaching for neat should teach for that and you can find a lot of them on an academy anyway what i'll be discussing instead are things like how medical training is structured what are the subjects you study in medical school what books to read what is post graduate training what is super specialty training what is fellowship how to study the scientific way of studying for exams and stuff like that you know till i got into medicine like clear my entrance exam and got into medicine and a few months after getting into medicine till then i didn't have an idea about what are the subjects you know actually taught in medical school i didn't know how medical education is structured i didn't have any idea about post graduation training or anything i thought they would teach everything in medical school it was a bit naive of me but i'm pretty sure there're going to be a lot of people who you know probably thought of it the way i did i think these sessions would be really good for all the neat candidates neat aspirants and even people who are you know who want to be doctors someday and also for you know young medical students because they'll have an idea of what they've got into what they're getting into they'll know what to expect so they can you know prepare themselves for that like i said all of my sessions are going to be free to watch for everyone and there'll be a link in the description or in the pinned comment but if either you or if any of your friends are signing up for an academy plus use code dr a to get 10% off and if i make any money from this it's going to go back all into the channel so thanks for your support i'll see you on an academy on saturday that is 8th of may stay happy take care bye bye